And welcome back, you fabulous Mad Masters. We're gonna get right started on our concept development. Let me set my timer. I don't want to go too long. Got to keep these lessons lessons short and crisp and fast. Keep you interested. Here we go. It says, create and solve a word a simple two-step word problem using from the tape diagram below. I don't see a tape diagram below, so we're gonna make one. And this tape diagram is gonna be this. And this is copycat time. You guys are copying right along. And the hole is going to be 7,104. Okay. And our parts, the first part, is going to read 4,295. The second part is going to be 982. And the last part is we don't know. So let's make up a word problem that's kind of exclusive to our area. Let's say, and I'm just kind of guessing off the top of my head, I don't really know this. In 1987, the Total population of Anza, California was, mm, let's do the whole, 7,104. Okay? In 87, 86, 85, wait, wait, 85, 86, 87, yeah. So, in 1985, there were 4,295 people living in Anza. 982 people moved to Anza in 1986. Okay, so here's the population of Anza in 1985. Okay, here's the population in 1987. So 1985, then 1986, 982 people moved in. We don't know how many people moved in in 1987 to make it the population. So we're going to say, how many people moved to Anza in 1987 to get the population to 7,104? A lot going on in this problem, right? Right. So let's think about it. How can we go about solving this big problem? Well, for starters, I think we need to get another piece of paper because we're out of room. So, let's start off by adding these two together, okay? So, 4,295 and 982. Total amount of people living there in 85 and the people that moved there in 86. 4,295 plus 982. So go ahead and pause the tape and add that up. So 5 plus 2 is 7, 9 plus 8 is 17, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So you have 5,277 people. Well, now we can determine how many people moved in here by subtracting the whole from this part. Ready? 7,104 minus 5,277. So go ahead and pause. And welcome back. Right off the bat, we got some issues here. I can't take seven ones away from four ones. The tens have nothing to offer me, so we got to turn to the hundreds. That 100 goes goodbye, gives 10 tens here. 
But the 10 tens got to become 9 tens because we got to give 10 ones to this 4 to become 14, right? So 14 minus 7 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. Once again, I'm kind of stuck here. I can't take 2 hundredths away from 0 hundredths. So bye bye 1,000. You're going to become 10 hundredths. 10 minus 2 is 8. And 6 minus 5 is 1. And there we have it. So we could say that this is 1,827. And I'll put that right in the box. So we can see we had 4,295, 982, 1,807. We get 1,827. We get 7,104. Let's just write a quick sentence. 1,827 people moved to Anza in 1987. See how that worked? We added these two together because we knew that's the population. That was population 87, 982 people more moved in in 86. And then to get to 7,104, we had to subtract these two numbers from that to figure out how many people moved to Anza in 1987 to make the total 7,104. Okay, perfect timing, Mr. Leggett. Wow, that was great. Okay, why don't you guys take a quick little stretch break, get a glass of water, go to the restroom, do what you gotta do.